Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the cool things that Figma has announced in their Config 2021. So as you can see, this is a recap blog by Figma on Config 2021 and they have basically announced six new things here, among which the first one is a really cool thing, which is nothing but a new tool called as FigJam. So this is a tool similar to, you know, Miro, Mural and uh, Freehand by Envision, which are nothing but whiteboarding tools, uh, which allow you to brainstorm with multiple users and come up with user flows and all that stuff. So this is going to be a tough competition for Miro and all because they were actually the popular tools in this space but now Figma has come up with their own tool so I'll be talking more about this tool and actually show you a demo of this towards the end of this video so stay tuned for that and going ahead we have a new feature called as branching so this is also uh, present in a previous tool called as abstract which was basically for sketch you could actually have multiple branches you know if you have multiple designers working on a same project it is always good to have branching and then merge it if you have a huge design system and all this is going to really help you in maintaining and uh, you know completing it with multiple people so this is a cool thing uh, which is also coming up on figma and then you have a new mobile app they are coming up with so the best thing about this is you can basically give your uh, preview or prototype to your stakeholders and once they use the app and start testing it you can see a live preview of that uh, on your screen on Figma so whatever they're gonna do is gonna get mirrored on your system so this is gonna really help in user testing and we can basically analyze where the users are facing it difficult to navigate and all that stuff so for user testing and all that purpose this is really gonna be very helpful and going on to the next one which is talk it out with audio so this one was already leaked or we could say it was already kind of an announced on Twitter by some user and a lot of people were actually waiting for this but a bit of a sad part is it is not going to be available for the free users so this is going to be just for the professional and organization plan and it's going to come up soon where basically if you have multiple users you can just click on the call button and call a particular user or talk as a group so this is going to be really helpful for people who are uh, you know collaborating and working on a single file and then you have this new feature of basically they are allowing 500 plus users to concurrently work on a single file so this limit if I'm not wrong was around 50 in the previous uh, update and now basically you can have 100 editors and 400 viewers on a single file so that's going to be really huge and finally the update is about the Figma community so it's no more going to be a beta thing uh, and you know anyone can publish on it and make use of helpful templates or update or publish uh, helpful templates and uh, be a part of the community so that's a really good thing so those were the six features that they have announced and now let's quickly jump on to fig jam and have a quick demo of it so here we are on fig jam which is in beta and you just need to go to figma.com slash fig jam and you'll be ending up on this screen right here so this is the web page of the new tool and you can basically draw on their web page itself which is really cool you have a, a intro video and all that stuff but we'll directly jump on and try this tool uh, right here so just click on this uh, try fig jam for free and you'll end up on a file of fig jam right here so so this is the file and uh, this is a plain canvas so let's start off with the pencil tool right here so this is the basic tool and you can just create uh, whatever you want and then you have a couple of uh, pre-built shapes which are circles so if I want a circle just put that up there and I can just type in uh, some text I want so you have multiple shapes right here so you can go for this and then the most uh, you know important part which is uh, sticky notes so they have uh, pre-built sticky notes which already have your uh, name of the user that is using it and moving on to the next one which is a text tool so you can just add some text so I'm just putting up random things and this is the best part. You have connectors which work really cool. So I just click on the connector and you have these four directions where you can start connecting from. I just click on this and I drag it to the one that I want to connect. There you go, it's done. And uh, once you start moving any object, uh, the arrows automatically adapt to it. So that is a really cool thing. So user flows are going to be really cool. And then you have this one, which is basically stickers. So they basically try to make it really fun. And you have a lot of uh, pre-built stickers here. So as you can see, there are a lot of them. So let's say you want to say some uh, idea is really cool or you need help on some idea. You can just uh, drag a sticker onto that. Just saying that you need help on this idea just to annotate things in a more 
fun way. And this is another cool feature, which is stamp. So let's say you have brainstormed some ideas. So as a group, you have a lot of members and you brainstorm some ideas and you want to uh, do a uh, voting on that stuff. So you can go for this one, which is plus one. So people can just keep adding. So this is going to be anonymous, but if you want to make it, if you want to show that it is you that you're doing, so you can have your own profile picture as a stamp. So once I click on this, uh, I can just uh, stamp on the idea that I like and people on the file will get to know that you have clicked on this. But let's say this idea is really cool. Uh, I just can continuously press on this and you get bigger and bigger just to show that this idea is really cool and you really love it a lot. And you have also emojis. So let's say uh, this idea is really crazy and you can just click on the fire emoji and you know, start clicking on this and it will show that this idea is really heated up and really cool. You can also bring in all your frames from other Figma files directly just copy and paste it here that would definitely work and you can just uh, select all and also copy this to a new Figma file if you want that. So a lot of uh, things like that are possible and uh, this tool is going to get more better and better and uh, tools like Miro and you know Mural are going to have a tough time because uh, they are really uh, leading uh, tools in this whiteboarding stuff. You know even Invision has their tool called Freehand so they are going to have a tough competition with this but but overall this is a great tool so that's it for this video guys i hope you found this informative and helpful and let's wait for more features that figma is going to come up with stay tuned thanks for watching